Sun Life Skate Canada International. The order of skate, Jason Daname, Zavolch Vidrai, Takeshi Honda, Evgeny Pluta, Evgeny Plushenko, the young Russian, and yes, he just might try the quad tonight in the short program. Then we'll see Jeff Langdon, Dan Hollander, Marcus Lemonin, Michael Hoptis of Germany, and then Elvis Stoiko. There's Jason Daname, Barb. The biggest thing for Jason is confidence he can do the jumps he's perfect in the air but he has a little bit of doubt on the landings and as we all know you just cannot doubt yourself on the landings he nailed that beautiful triple flip there but he is also a skater that is born to perform he reminds me a little bit of a young kurt browning and he really has that in him he's going to light up the crowd there he is with coach jose normand what will he light up this crowd with tonight? We asked Jason Daname about his short program. This year, my short program is a funky number. Actually, it's a disco number uh, from the 70s. And uh, it was picked at the last minute. It's called uh, Pick Up the Pieces. Pick Up the Pieces at the last minute. Mm, I wonder. <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's a great number. It's funny. It's, it's moving a lot. Uh, the only thing is that it's, it could be tricky for me because I have to uh, try to, to make it look really funky and really um, in a disco manner way. And it's really hard for me because I never did that before. And I hope I'll be able to show it this weekend. It's a really good number, though. It's funny. <laughs> it's tricky. Well, we'll see the trickster. He's hey. Barb Underhill, a lot of talk about that abductor muscle pull that is slowly getting better and better almost elvis stoiko says but he has to always keep it warm and skating last sometimes can be a disadvantage although he loves the drama well definitely he's got to try to keep it warm after the the warm-up and i think usually you want to skate towards the end of the group but for elvis it, it may hurt him a little bit because he's got to keep that groin area warmed up and he'll have a long wait after after that warm-up finished fourth last week at skate america Here's the required elements list for the men's short program. Not included on that list, well, there it is, the possibility of a quad jump. Absolutely, and this is looking a lot different this year. It's opened up a whole new bunch of options here because you can not only do a triple axle, but you can also do the quad. But the tricky part here is that the quad or the triple must come out of connecting steps, which, as you know, may preclude many of the the uh, men from even attempting it. They might as well call that required element uh, the Stoico rule, because really, with what he has done and been able to push the envelope over the last few years, that's why the quad has been included. And here is the first competitor picking up the pieces. Jason Daname, fifth place at the Canadians, our first skater in the men's short program. One of the most talented young skaters in Canada today. However, that talent hasn't quite yet translated into results. Maybe it will here. Opening with the toughest jump here. Triple axle. Combination is a triple Lutz double loop jump. He's really got to check out on the Lutz here in order, order to get the loop in, and he does. He's required to do six rotations on each foot here in this spin.
double jump out of footwork step. He's doing a triple flip. Uh-oh, unfortunate miss there. Jason Dana May from Long A, Quebec, his marks after this. Long A may make the cover of a Team Beat magazine, but does he have all <laughs> the goods to, to get to that Kurt Browning quality you talk about? He's got to get a bit more aggressive, especially on his landings here. He's perfect in the air, and you can see just a hint of doubt there on the landing. And this was, should have been landed. The triple flip, he should have checked out really hard right there. Instead, he reaches for the ice, and that just tells me he doesn't quite believe that he can do it. He's got to get more aggressive. He's got loads of talent. These marks will be low, not only reflected in the fact that he missed some things, but also because he's the first skater. And always a tough spot to skate in. It's tough also because if you're not perfect, you may get forgotten. Five, Jason Dana May. Well, the two, Hamilton Steelheads had a bye this week because of figure skating. And on ice, from Hungary, currently ranked number 10 in the world, this is Zabolc Vidrai. <laughs> He obviously, obviously has a music problem here. They will re here. I can throw you off a bit. Yes, definitely. <laughs> I think they're still trying to cue up the music. What happens with live television and live skating sometimes, too. Mm -hmm. As a skater, you really have to be ready for anything. You have to be able to hang on to those nerves in situations like this. Take a deep breath and start again. Bolts made a major leap in the world rankings last year at the championships. He was 16, 97, and moved up to 10th at last year's world championships. He's opening with his triple axle, triple toe combination, triple double, very nice. And it's quite amazing to me that a skater from a country like Hungary can make it to 10th in the world when you consider that there is only one arena in Budapest and fewer than 200 skaters in the entire country. It's triple Lutz, very nice.
should mention that one of the rules in the short program is that you cannot repeat the solo jump. Here he does a double axle because he chose to do a triple axle off the top. So the short pro program has really become a strategy, a real strategy for these skaters. They have to decide and make a balance between difficulty and risk. Double to dry. The Hungarian champion. A little pizzazz, a little harmonica. At the triple double. Pretty good leaper. And here's one of the best. Five. Marks will be better than Jason Daname and will put him in first place. Pretty good skater. Five, four, five, one. The next competitor, representing Japan, Takeshi Honda. And here is one of the charter members of skating's quad squad. Will he attempt the quad in the short program? We cannot believe how much he has grown as a skater. He's only 17. It seems like he's been around for a while. But he is developing into quite a talent. Takeshi Honda from Japan. And he has two plans here. I mentioned the game of strategy here. And again, we have a music <laughs> problem. <laughs> Boy, they're having their difficulties tonight. But this has really become a game of strategy. He has two plans. If he's feeling really good, he'll do the triple axle first and the quad toe second. If he's not feeling that great, it's kind of an off day, he'll, he'll, he'll attempt triple axle, triple toe, and triple lug. It's a good thing the music wasn't ready because there was something on the ice and now he wants to dry his hands. He's looking pretty loose. Trains in Simsbury, uh, Connecticut. Uh, this is his first year in the United States with uh, that lady there, Galena Shumiskaya. Great coach. She has brought him a long way. And this short program is unbelievable. The choreography done by Victor Petrenko, former student of Galina Smetskaya. It's brilliant. checking out on the landing just like that he had so much height he could not break out and that tells me right there that he will not attempt the quad which would have been next but i'm going to say he's going to go safe he's going to go with the triple s we'll see right here remember it has to be done out of step oh Unbelievable. He went to do a triple flip and popped it. elements all around and that could be part of his problem is that he's having to think so hard about the jumps that he's going to attempt that he can't focus
tonight. Sometimes you hit a home run and sometimes you foul out. The Keshi Honda. There's Kid Dynamite, Evgeny Plachenko, still to come from Kamloops. Oh, he's better than that, and I think most skating fans know it too. This is definitely a learning experience for him. The major deductions. This was the first. The triple axel. Look at the height he gets, but watch the check. Right there, just doesn't check hard enough to hold on four to that one, landing. Four, five, then he four, also two, gets a deduction for four, missing seven, the combination. Four, two, four, five, and that four, is why zero, you see four, five, the low marks. There was four, also, five. I'm quite sure, a deduction for, for under revolutions on one of the spins. So uh, he five, clearly two, didn't have his five, concentration two, out there. Four, Currently five, third. He was on our list of contenders. Five, he was. He five, has tumbled two, right five, out of one, it and will have five, to have two, a phenomenal five, five. free skate to climb the ladder. Tough luck. Tough night for Takeshi Honda. from Ukraine, Evgeny Pluta. Here is Evgeny Pluta from Ukraine. Ninth in the world. Lives and trains in Kiev. He is also a quadruple jumper, but doesn't have it planned for the short program. Well, he does the Lutz, though. We have not seen... Well, we have seen Michael Weiss attempt a quad Lutz, but he does a huge Lutz, Lutz which will not be attempted in this program because as we mentioned before it must come out of footwork steps and that's simply too difficult what i love about jenny though is the way that he just tears into these jumps he flies he's going to open with his most difficult jump he finds the triple axel the hardest for him to control, but he nails it there. Look at the speed that he gets going into this combination. Triple flip, double toe. back at the World Junior Championships in 1991. And I remember thinking he is going to make it to the big time. And really, he has yet to get there. He has so much talent, and it hasn't translated yet. good oh that was awesome there's our leader you know he was not able to bring his coach here with him because he could not afford it so he is actually with elena leashenko's coach here from one of Genny to another plashenko will skate after this the hungarian champion in first jason dana may second much more to come, and including Jeff Langdon from Barrie and Elvis Stoichel from Richmond Hill. Both skaters train out of the Mariposa Club in Barrie, Ontario. And you know that Evgeny Pluta is liking what he did. There is no doubt. His spins were very solid. All his jumps were clean. Five, three, five, three, five, and these marks are very solid. Number one right across the board. No doubt. 
Ukrainian, 5-3. Ranked third five, in his country. Five, you know, they got some good skaters there. Slava four, Zagorodniak five, and Dmitry Dimitrenko. Five, and three, one of the five, greatest four, came from there, too, five, Victor three. Petrenko. But Evgeny Pluta laid one down here in Kamloops the tonight. From Russia, Evgeny Pleskenko. Bronze medalist in Minneapolis. As they say in basketball, he's got game. This kid is something else. Turned 16 this week, Evgeny Plushenko. And right off the top, he'll be attempting the quad toe. Had a difficult year this year. He was off the summer for one month with a severe injury, a cut to his foot, which required a cast. He's only been back on the ice for one month. And we've noticed that he's not quite as consistent in his jumps as he was last season. He's also grown 11 centimeters since we saw him last. Oh, and he doubled the quad. Unbelievable. That's going to really, really affect his mark. He's got to try to get the triple axle, triple toe in right here. Triple axle, oh. triple toe. Double The crowd likes it, but unfortunately, his base mark on the technical requirements is going to be very low because of the fact that he only did the double. Well, that piece of history is still out there. No man has yet landed a quadruple jump in a short program. Elvis says he won't try it tonight. Lashenko tried it. He just looked back at the spot where he did it. <laughs> he shook his head. But he has loads of talent. Well, he's such a natural, natural jumper. He's a lot like Kurt Browning that way. Look at this. Triple axle. Just perfect. With a triple toe on the end. But watch these spins here. His spins were great. He's one of the only men that does the Beelman spin, and I'm surprised that he does it because he has been suffering with a back problem. It's been quite a year for him after such an amazing year last year. And to he's, grow that much. Absolutely. He's really adjusting to the new height. And here's the Beelman. Ouch. I was going to say, don't try that at home, but you know what? 
Never try that. <laughs> anywhere. The safety of the skaters. If you Evgeny Plushenko. The course of the His marks are coming. The there is Elvis Stoiko. Please do so with He is in the next flight. We'll have it flash. for you. Elvis is staying with his short program from last year. The Tyco Drums. The Lion Program. He has a new free skate. We'll see it Saturday night. But depending marks on where Plushenko is, it's hard element. to say what the judges will do. Look at the required elements, Mark. Five, three, the Canadian five, four, judge did catch five, that two, quad five, three, restriction. Five, three, five, well, three, they all did. Five, three, five, two, four, eight. These base marks are very low marks for, presentation. for his ability. But, but the present come five, way up. Seven, presentation five, eight, marks should way up, seven, and he has leapfrogged ahead five, of seven, Evgeny Pluta. So five, six, the Russian, Plushenko, is first, as we anticipated. Final flight, men's short program at the Sun Life Skate Canada International. The second short program of the season for Elvis Stoiko. Tried the quad last week in Detroit. Two-footed it in the short program. Will not try it, he says, tonight. Here's who we'll see. Jeff Langdon, his clubmate from Barrie. Dan Hollander of the United States. Marcus Lemonin, who also trains in Barrie from Finland. And Michael Hoppus from Germany. And then the E-man. Elvis Stoiko, fourth last week at Skate America. Some people might say that's a step backwards for the former world champion. Stoiko thinks not. Well, I guess out of a 10, I'd rate it about a, a 6. At this point, I, you know, what I normally can do is rate it about a 5 or a 6. six. But right now, it's, as it stands for what I've gone through and try to get there, it's about a 9. Just going through what I had to go through this season and try to get back and try to get get on there and looking at it in perspective you know and laying all the other stuff aside just focusing on what I've done it's, it's pretty good first to skate will be Jeff Langdon and he is suffering from a bad ankle so the, these Canadian men are injured uh, Jason Dana may has a bad back by the way but Jeff Langdon also coming off a tremendous showing at the world's an eighth place finish which allowed our Canadian men under new rules that were written by the ISU. We thought we only could send one man to the next world. In fact, we will send two. And I asked him about the day that he found that out, and uh, he said he was pretty excited uh, and relieved to know that there will be two spots for the World Championships. But uh, disappointing for him. This is a big event, and he really just started jumping again last week. It was on a triple flip that he hurt the ankle. It's his landing foot, so it really affects all his jumps. He's been taking acupuncture sessions uh, twice a day, as a matter of fact. Was ninth in 97, eighth in 98, looking to get back to the Worlds in Helsinki in the spring of 99. Brand new short program here. The Tango Blues, choreographed by a new choreographer, Bernie Ford. really tight in the warm-up struggling with some of his jumps <laughs> opening here triple axle oh and he pulls it out Triple flip, that's the jump he hurt his foot on. Triple flip, double toe, he does it.
is a personal triumph for him after what he's been through. Nice way to start the season. Considering he's on a bad wheel. And boy, did he hang on to that triple axle. He fought for everything on this. He was not going to give it up. Here it is right here. Takes off. He's good in the air. A little off on the landing, but he just squeaks it through there. And here's his footwork into triple loop. Spot on there. He went through so much during last season with the Emmanuel Sandu controversy. Jeff finished third at the Canadians on, hi, and he was very classy oh, throughout the are. whole thing. Very quiet, uh, did not complain one bit because hi, hi, they hi, sent Dad. Jeff Langdon to the Winter Olympics in Nagano and uh, we did have a chance to send three men. Instead, we sent two. I still don't agree with that, but we did. And Emmanuel, of course, went to the World Championships, finished way down the list. And after the championships, because Elvis wasn't there, people felt there was only one man who would go to this year's Worlds. And thankfully, the ISU ratified a rule. And because of his eighth place showing, two men can go, and Emmanuel Sandu breathes a sigh of relief, too. Yes, because of Jeff's top 10 finish last year at the World Championships, we are allowed to send two men to the World Championships, which is, which is huge considering that if Elvis goes, then the other guys don't get, don't even have a chance. Jeff's assignments this year, he will also skate at Andy. Nations Cup and the Cup of Russia, skating here and the Nations Cup for points in the Grand Prix series. Used to be the Champion Series, by the way. Of course, the Grand Prix final will be held Mark in 1999. Emmanuel Sandu will skate elements. at the event in France and also five at NHK. Two, five, one. These are pretty solid marks. Doug Lee marks and his wife Michelle alongside. They'll be back alongside the boards when Mr. Stoiko comes out to skate. And also when Mr. Lemonin skates. Jeff Langdon's currently in third. CTV Sports Net. And on ice. This is Dan Hollander of the United States. And one of the major themes running through the event tonight is all the injuries. Dan actually has the exact same injuries that Elvis has, the cold abductor muscle. And he is also still recovering. Really interesting music for his short program called Tapping with Bob. It really gets the crowd going. Mr. Blackwell didn't get the rotation that he needed.
Dan Hollander tapping with Bob Kamloops. Hollander, he was third two years in a row in the U.S. Nationals, and this year he plummeted to six. Heavy deductions here. Watch the triple axel. He doesn't get the required rotation. He bails right there. Look at when he lands. You can see that his skate is pointing forward. He's not landing backwards. Therefore, he'll get a deduction for not having the re required amount of turns, but also for the fall. I like the choreography. It's a great program if he skates it, but lately he's really been struggling with consistency on his jumps. He's also going to get a Someone heavy, heavy deduction much. for the combination. Someone saw us that much. Like, doesn't even feel like a long program. It comes back. Marks for Dan Hollander for required Sounds health. like he needs to rework the choreography four, two, into four, the left four, there. Four, zero, the guy who has a lot four, of uh, stoicoisms four, about zero, him. He four, two, is a martial artist, four, zero, four, one, likes to ride four, his motorcycle. Two, Marks for presentation. Unfortunately, on this night, he couldn't jump like Elvis. 5-1, 5-3, Currently five, in seventh, three, the two Evgenys still one and two. Plushenko of one, Russia, Pluta of Ukraine, five, and Jeff Langdon is third. Jason Daname currently in fifth. The next competitor, representing Finland, Marcus Lennemann. He is from Finland, but he also has a warm spot for Canada because... He trains at the Mariposa Club alongside Jeff Langdon and Elvis Stoiko. This is Marcus Lemonin. And this short program was choreographed by a familiar name in skating, former pair skater Doug LaDre. required to perform two step sequences. This is a straight line step. Marcus Lemonin, 19th at the 98 Worlds. His marks have coming from Kamloops, BC. Still ahead, Marcus Lemonin's marks here at the 98 Sun Life Skate Canada International. This will put him at the bottom of the pack. In case you're just joining us, Evgeny Plushenko of Russia is our leader. Evgeny Pluta, close second place, Jeff Langdon 
is third. Elvis Stoiko will skate after Michael our next skater. Hoffman. And he's coming off a seventh place finish last week at Skate America. This is Germany's Michael Hoppus. And he too is another skater bar who trains at the Mariposa Club. Skating to Lord of the Dance the other day in practice. He had this audience in the palm of his hand. He's not a great jumper, has trouble with consistency, but this program really works for him. Opening with triple axel. Doesn't get the rotation. Watch this footwork sequence. The audience is across four, Canada four, captivated six, with river dance four, and Michael Hoppus did the four, same five, with his Lord four, of the seven, Dance but his four, marks four, four, for required four, elements two, very four, low. Two. Marks for presentation. But what an entertainer. But, you know, bottom line, he entertained five, one, the five, crowd. Two, they four, love eight, him. He's got to feel five, three, great three, about that. Five, three, five, Currently three, in six. Five, three, five, three. And get ready, Canada. The next competitor, representing Canada, Elvis Stoiko. Last week, his first test of the injured groin, first competition since Nagano. Not what he wanted standings-wise, but it held up, and now he's trying to get it back to speed. Here is Canada's champion, Elvis Stoiko.
program, but tonight it's a triple left. He's a little leaning there on the landing, but he held on. You can always gauge his performance based on what comes out of his mouth the first time the music stops. Last week it was almost. There's his mother. He always reacts instantly when he's finished tonight. It was, wow, relief. He did it. This was the next step for him. Plushenko is in first. Missed the quad. <laughs> Stoiko looked like he two-footed the back end of that triple combination but it's not as big a deduct as Plushenko had, and this definitely is the number one rated performance of the night. Here's the combination. Triple axel. Now watch the landing on the second jump. He's tight there with his feet. The ice is hard today, so I couldn't get a good feel. Yeah, Yeah. yesterday the ice was a little better. That's okay. You can hear him talking about the ice there. There's the triple let, close up of the feet. Again, a little bit tight on the landing. He doesn't seem to be getting the pop that he that normally would get, and obviously yeah. that's related to the power in his legs. And, you know, there has to be concern sometimes <laughs> as you see the end of the performance. <laughs> <laughs> Where will this go? Where will this yeah, lead to? Is he reaching the limit on this groin injury? Alexei Irmanov was off for a long Barry. time. Well, I think he's just got to take it day by day and build and build and hope that he doesn't do too much and re-injure it again. I think that's his, his greatest fear would be to re-injure it. And that's why he has to approach things with more caution that, than he normally would. I asked him that today. I said, come on, you, 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 you got to think that there's some point where you, you got to hold back. And he said to me, no, he says he's going for it. So well, that's can, Elvis. You can see in his skating, he's not skating as free as he normally does. He's not quite as aggressive. I mean, that was still pretty aggressive. But Could that uh, be rust, too, though? Uh, yeah, 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 he hasn't competed for a while, so he's just kind of getting back into the, the groove here. Required elements marks. Five, seven, the touchdown five, 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 six, with the deduction. Five, six, that was a minor, five, seven, about a point five, two. Six, so. Right across five, the board, five, though. Five, five. Here's our leader after March the short program. Last week, he was second in Skate America after the short five, program. Eight, Eventually five, finished eight, fourth. Five, six, he will be the leader Saturday night here in Kamloops, British Columbia. Second test of the short program. And that one gets better marks from the judges and from Elvis. Stoiko one, Plushenko two, Pluta three, Jeff Langdon fourth position. Good strong performance for Langdon on a wobbly ankle.
So Volts Vidry of Hungary is currently fifth. Jason Dana May in sixth position. Michael Huffus, the lord of the skates, in seventh. And Debbie Wilkes is down with Elvis Stoiko. Okay, Elvis, I guess all we can say is welcome back. Well, thank you. It's great to be back. Uh, it's tough, you know, you come from Skate America. Great competition, not enough crowd. You come here and there's more people in practice here than there was there in, in uh, competition, but crowd was awesome and I just wanted to get a good skate. Step number two is done in the short. So all the question we have is how's the injury feel? Injury feels fine, no problems at all. Like I said before, in the back waiting, it's kind of a tough process because it's a little, you know, it's gonna get tight after warm up, but it felt okay there tonight. And plans for the quad for the long. Uh, yeah, it, it's there. It'll be there for the long, and uh, we wanted to get a good short program down here, and it's in the long program for sure in two days. And what else? You got any other special news for us? Well, well, it, it's the same triple axles in the program and a whole new program and uh, unveiling it for the first time in Canada, so it should be exciting. That's wonderful. We're skating it with you. Thanks very much, Elvis. Good luck tomorrow. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Elvis Stoiko leader tomorrow the women's short program Keila O's of Canada in the field the original dance Shailen Bourne and Victor Kratz have skated their compulsories here in Kamloops they are the leaders wing and low the other Canadian team are currently in ninth but you have to like what you saw if you're a Canadian skating fan from Elvis tonight back on track Langan has to be happy with his skate as well. He put in a really solid performance on a on a tough ankle, so I think they both have to be pleased. We'll see the quad Saturday night too. Not only does Elvis have one plan, but so does Plushenko. And Evgeny Pluta also has a quad Lutz in his arsenal. So the Flyers will be out in full force here in Kamloops, BC. Stoiko is back and looking good. How will he look Saturday? We'll find out. Don't forget for all the news and scores and an update on Skate Canada. Watch Sports Central on Sportsnet later tonight. And ER is next.